was popping all right fan all right ball checking in here and today uh, we have a lot to discuss now let's jump right into it first off salute notification game hitting that like button before we start y'all the real all right fan salute anyway up first we got that boy scotty kane now that boy scotty kane he's an artist out here doing his thing bro outside of being known for his music He's known for being on social media talking that street gangster shit, fam. As we all know, when artists talk that street shit, it's somebody always waiting to gain some clout off of them, fam, and test to see if they really about that life. And that's exactly what happened to that boy Scotty Kane because he got his chains took, bruh. These niggas pussy ass a bitch, boy. Damn, nigga, take anything off my neck. Now, when the situation first went down, Scotty Kane didn't even speak on the situation, but he finally admitted he got caught lacking, fam. Fuck, you gonna die for some jury? So, you gonna die for some jury? So, if I would've let a nigga kill me for some jury, I would've been a real nigga. <laughs> man, you a fucking clown, man. Suck a nigga dick. Get off a nigga shit. Stop it, my nigga. Stop it. I'm finna die for no change. You can have this interior shit, but you let me live. So now I'm out here. Crunch time. Eat up. Man, you niggas is so bitch made. Like, y'all worry about jumping on another dick, sneak this and another real nigga. Y'all need to watch the fans y'all got around y'all. You hear me? I'm a real nigga, you know. Yeah, I can't lie, niggas stuck me, but it happened to the best of us. You hear me? One thing I didn't do at all is put no fucking police in my business. Yeah, you know, you bitch ass niggas got it twisted. You know, it happened to the best of us. This type of shit happened a lot. You know, I just was caught lacking. Some shit that I was never supposed to do. But my drawers is down. I can't do nothing with that. But I'm still living. And I'm still a real nigga. I'm still a grown man. I'm still about my business. Ain't no nigga gonna play with me. Nigga know what it is, man. Yeah. You know, we still ain't got no flaws, y'all. Instead of trying to bring us down, make we, I got lawyer fans, they fuck with me. Y'all trying to make me, but not fuck with me. But I'm still a real nigga, you know. Gang shit ain't no lame shit. Double M, you know, for life. Nigga, fuck wrong with you niggas. We all know somebody in life that make excuses about everything, bro. You beat them at 21. Ah, oh, my leg with her. You beat them at 2K. Ah, oh, the joystick messed up. They can never admit they took a L, bro. I be like, damn, bro. You ain't perfect. Your grill leg quarter head ass can lose too. And I absolutely hate that junk, bruh. So respect to Scotty Kane for coming clean about getting caught lacking, fam. That juice can fall on anybody, bruh. Anybody can get caught lacking, fam. It just so happened to be his day to take that L, fam. It wasn't too much he could do, bruh. The gun was pulled on him. It was do or die, fam. So I don't see him as pussy, but other people may not be so forgiving because he talked all that gangster shit, fam. But who knows? I need y'all to comment down below. What do you think about this whole situation? Also comment down below, what would you do in that situation if somebody already had the gun on you and telling you to give up the chains, bruh? Anyway, I'm about to be out of here. Sub to the channel if you haven't. Press that sub button. Also press that bell beside the so notification anytime you watch a video. Follow me on Twitter. Link in the description. Follow me on IG at Relatable Up Ball. Salute to y'all, man. We on that one. 100K Grind Up Ball. Gone.